For today's video, we're going to be diving into three three very, very interesting stories regarding the PlayStation 5. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be okay if backwards compatibility was restricted to PlayStation Now. You could download and play all the games, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4 locally, so no streaming, but only through the PlayStation Now service. Would you be fine with that? Crazy question, I know, but I'm curious how many would be okay with that situation. So comment below if you'd be okay if backwards compatibility compatibility for the PlayStation 5 with the download ability was restricted to PlayStation Now. So you could play PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4 locally on your console on the PlayStation 5, but you had to do it through PlayStation Now. How would you feel about that? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story, full backwards compatibility. This story comes from a guy I used to watch a lot when I was a kid or when I was younger. I, if I wanted gaming news back then, I'd check him out. I haven't really been following him as of recent memory to check up on his track record, but he seems very confident even pushing people to check on his track record if they doubt him in his video where he detailed this backwards compatibility story. The person is Hip Hop Gamer and the essential gist of the video is that Sony has been working on backwards compatibility and having this idea of one box for all their games since 2012 and Gaikai which we know now as PlayStation Now was supposed to support that idea which it kind of does. He states with full confidence that the PlayStation 5 will have backwards compatibility with all past PlayStation consoles not only this but that the PlayStation 5 will introduce a remastering engine as he names it which will allow you to play with settings similar to PC emulators that beef up old games to have better resolutions anti-aliasing etc he states that remastering of games will be old news because of this and remakes will be the new cash cows he goes later on in my opinion to mess up the difference between remasters and remakes calling Crash Bandicoot and Medi evil as remasters when their remakes 100%. He also seems to confirm disc based backwards compatibility which I'll say we've heard before but the example he uses referencing three different GPU modes might be what Digital Foundry recently discussed which pointed out that based on the recent leaked specs between the 12 teraflop and the 9 teraflop situation, the PlayStation 5 GPU has three generation modes which were later discovered to be the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 4 Pro and of course the PlayStation 5 so I'm not sure if he messed these two things up I'm not really sure. All in all, mess ups aside, I do really hope the PlayStation 5 becomes that all in one box, even if we have to use PlayStation Now with at least download capabilities for all games, which of course in the end means there's still emulation of sorts going on. But what Hip Hop Gamer is talking about honestly sounds like a dream, but I'll still put hope out for that as well. Now, diving into the second story, the DualShock 4 might be compatible with the PlayStation 5. According to website Respawn First, their sources at two studios have indicated that the PlayStation 5 will allow you to use the DualShock 4. Their sources state that most PlayStation 5 games are hardware backwards compatible and should work with the DualShock 4. This is awesome news for gamers, this is pro consumer, and basically reaffirms what we've seen in regards to the PlayStation 5 controller and how similar it'll be to the DualShock 4 because if the PlayStation 5 controller is that big of a leap, PlayStation 5 games might not work well with the DualShock 4 or in that case of course. And now the final story of this video, it seems we have another leak, another look regarding the PlayStation 5's dev kit and more interestingly the PlayStation 5 controller. At this point I've got to believe Sony is orchestrating these quote unquote leaks. I've got an itch that says they're doing this but I'm not really sure obviously I'm not there behind the scenes. This time the leak comes from Reset Era but originally comes from someone who I assume is a janitor because that's what it seems like from the picture at a video game studio and I say was because they're probably fired by now but the image shows us a better look of the dev kit and a better look of what's going on on that little LCD screen which as was guessed before to be networking information. We also get a closer look at the PlayStation 5 controller which we've seen before but we've got a closer look now at the prominent touchpad, the USB-C, the light bar doesn't seem to be there but I was thinking if motion tracking could 
should be connected to the more thicker touchpad. We'll see how that works out. It's also interesting, this leaks before CES 2019, where it's rumored Sony will reveal PlayStation 5 related information, which again, I warn you guys, could very well be nothing. So today, later today, by the time this video comes out, it's later today, it could very well be nothing. So I warn you about that. So let's see how that one plays out. But that's basically it. That's what we've got in terms of recent leaks, recent information in regards to the PlayStation 5. I hope I summed it up well in this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below in regards to the backwards compatibility, in regards to the controller leaks, in regards to backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 4 controller. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps, and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with it's time for the reveal. Because I'm, we've seen so many leaks, we've heard so many rumors, but it's time for the reveal. I'm, I'm ready for that reveal. So if you feel the same way, destroy the comment section with it's time for the reveal. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one.